And welcome back to Tropico. I, I must confess now that I have actually not been doing very much game-wise lately. Uh, I've, I've basically been uh, doing a lot of real-world stuff. Um, I got myself a new notebook. Okay, a new to me notebook. It's not new. I can't afford new stuff. <laughs> maybe maybe if YouTube started paying me money, I could, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. So, I got a new notebook. So I turned around and fixed up my old one so that my wife could use it. Because her notebook had somehow become unbearably slow. She, she turned it on, she go and do something else for 10 or 15 minutes, come back and then click on a button and then go and do something for another 10 minutes. And it would finally be where she could actually do something with it. So I was like, <laughs> I, I can, I, can uh, I, I decided she really needed a new one. Okay, I, what do we need? Yeah, that's what I thought. We, um... All right, let, let me, let me look at something first. Um... How much is it going to cost to build a college? College. $13,000. And it's going to cost another two thousand, so it's going to be fifteen thousand. Oh, I forgot. I can't turn these, so I'm stuck with what direction it's facing. All right, what we'll do this? It may be a complete and total waste of time, but we will do it. I honestly don't think I have a college-educated college educated female just lying around. <laughs> that sounded bad, sorry. I do. I have one. She is a bureaucrat. I have one bureaucrat. And somebody just died. Well, what can I say? Oh, man. I tell you, this background noise is, well, just that. It's a lot of noise. Wow, you'd think that one woman would... Nope, she's just... She's being very faithful to her calling. Maybe if I fired her, she'd move. Yeah, she's my, uh... College gal, isn't she? Got a hubby, two kids, two grandkids. Wow. Good for her. Oh, well, I guess I would rather have somebody who wasn't below average. Rest in peace, muchacho. Oh, he died of cancer. Well, I guess the clinic couldn't do much about that. Well, what I'm thinking about, what do we got going on here? Okay, well, we got two. So I guess that's okay? Maybe? Oh, let's look at this again. Uh, -da -ba -da -ba -da. Uh, yeah, okay. I, 
forgot what time I started this, so it's like, <laughs> we're going to assume I started it then, and we'll go ahead and finish it up then. All right, this job. We have a student. We have unemployed, but I think she's in the school now, isn't she? She's only 13. I mean, <laughs> she should be in high school. Yeah. I don't know why they don't have her dressed like a uh, student. I, I don't understand that. I also don't understand where she's going. Where is she going? <laughs> I'm not even near. Oh, I guess she's going to church. She'll be heading for church. So, yeah, I guess that's good. She's 13 years old. Why is she walking like a little old woman? <laughs> so what, what shape are we in? We have 123 citizens. My Swiss bank account is okay. Happiness is down a little. Tourism rating is up a little. Oh. We're leaning more towards the U.S. now. Well, how about that? Oh, she moved. Okay. Well, that's good. Which means I have nobody here. <laughs> okay. Well, um... How far does that cover? It covers quite a bit. <laughs> to make it cover more... Just like any other version of the game, we just need an electric substation. So we kind of want to get it heading towards our hotel. Or our tourist section as the case may be. Okay, all right, it's a college, but I am, I am not by any stretch of the imagination going to need more people than that. Okay, so we got that. What's the chance of it making it all the way down here? Probably not very good. And we still, have we even started on this? Okay, we've started on it anyway. What have we got going over here? In Hooventude. Well, we got a lot of people working gold. Oh gee, 80% of the vote. Well, I guess I can, I guess I can accept that. All right, so we're still leveling the ground for the college. Why do I have the feeling this is backwards? Yay, I won. Yeah, I think this is backwards. Although, to be fair, that does look fairly adequate as well. Alright, well, we'll let that go. And, um, I don't have anybody not working. 
Oh, we have three people going to school now. Costanzo. I don't know why I'm looking at that. I was intending to look at this. Okay, who else do we have in here? Oh, we lost somebody. Linda Sanchez. Where's Linda Sanchez? Okay, so there's Linda Sanchez. So what happened to the one girl? I can't remember her name. It wasn't Diana Del Rey, though. I know that. <laughs> Cause she's like what, 13 or 14? Something like that. Okay, so we know we need. Yeah, see, that's still what that is. There's only one person here. And that's her. We got two people here. Was that the girl we had earlier? Yeah, that was her. She's all of 14 and she's working in our uh, immigration office. Okay, well... But she has to live in a shack still. She lives in that shack. Okay, well we'll get a few more things built. So what, we got a fisherman, and we got a teamster to replace the one that died, I guess. Okay, we have a college. I don't think I've got anybody free to take over the college. So, unless one of these people leaves the clinic, and I really don't want somebody to leave the clinic. Hmm. Here's hoping that I don't end up with one more person than I need. Alright. My income disparity is growing. Probably because I have a high school, so more people are going there. Happiness is going back up. That's good. Number of citizens is staying. Well, it's, it is what it is. Okay. Not exactly sure what changed there, but. Alright. So the thing is, is that now that we have electricity. Well, one of the things is that now that we have electricity, we can uh, really up our housing game. The condominium. Build the condominium out over here. Now, the interesting thing about the condominium is... You can use it as a tourist timeshare. But we're not going to do that. We're going to leave that for our people to live in for now. That does fall within the energized area. So that's good. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. All right. So we're still waiting for this to get done. I tell you what, let's, um, I'm doing fine on available cash. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to, um, and what is it again? Control click. Okay, control 
click and control click and I think we'll leave the uh, college professions as it is so everybody gets a little bit of a raise well almost everybody gets a little bit of a raise Como? I just got a raise she needs to buy some groceries I don't yeah I've got a market okay cool so she can buy groceries hey, there she goes I guess she bought her groceries okay all right now how much of our island do we have covered not quite to our touristy area but I guess we can sneak one in here somewhere We will cover all of this and. Oh, just not quite the Hooventude. <laughs> okay, it was enough. So we've got that going. We clearly need... We got too many shacks going on over here. So, um... Actually, uh, stuck a copy of Tropico 5 on another machine to uh, kind of refresh my memory of what it was like, and it's like, it, it reminded me of why I, I don't really play it much anymore. <laughs> they have expanded the game a lot. And I think part of that was to, uh, Accommodate for the fact that you're in power, as it was, for a very long time. So what they, you have is you now have like a legacy, you know, kind of like the Bushes. <laughs> You've got Papa Bush, and then you have a son who also takes over the presidency later on and and it gives them an excuse to do really weird things average worker pay has gone up not quite a dollar I clicked on a dollar but it didn't go up a dollar maybe that's not a full dollar that's very weird happiness is still at 50 Still friendlier with the US than Russia. Oh, there's me. View factions. Oh, the religious are still kind of not happy. Well, oh, we're, we're okay with the environmentalists. That's unusual. Okay, well. Since I don't have the usual messages I get with the uh, newer versions of the game. But, um, 
back to Tropico 5, you can start in any one of several different eras. Um, I suppose the most accurate way to describe them... Um, well, you start out with the colonial area. Era. Colonial era. Can you tell I'm not even... <laughs> I don't know much about... Yeah, never mind. Bad joke. Um, but you start in the colonial era. And so... You, you kind of have to do things that make the crown happy. Because you are the agent of the crown. So you're working for the king. I guess would be one way to put it. Oh, how about that? You even name the cows. <laughs> oh well, I guess stranger things have happened. But you, you start in the colonial era and you have to do everything to keep the crown happy. And you also only are allotted a certain amount of time. You don't have to win elections, you just have to keep the crown happy. You do what the crown wants you to do, you can opt for cash, you can opt for money for your Swiss bank account, or you can operate, uh, opt for having more time in your mandate. And then after a while, you can uh, declare independence, but you have to pay back the crown. And then you have to, so that's one reason why you need a lot of money. And then you have to um, pay back the bonds you use to get the money to pay off the crown. But once you do that, then you're in the World War eras where you have to side with either the Allies or the Axis. So that's fun. And then you get Cold War, which I think is probably very similar to what you start with in the other games. The previous games. Where you do your things, you keep your people happy, you, pe you win elections, blah, 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 blah. So, um, it, it just seems a little more complicated to me. And you don't even, well, first of all, you, you can choose your dynasty name, but you can't. You, you have to choose one of the pre-selected names. So, you know, I can't, I can't use my usual Helena bucket um, as my character name. I can choose... Bucket and then have to pick one of their chosen names Which was kind of disappointing because I could have you know set my name up as Helena Bucket. I had a son. I could name him Charlie Bucket. I had a daughter. I could name her Hyacinth <laughs> Bouquet It's an old English. It's a it's what they call a Britcom It's keeping up appearances uppity woman marries a not guy named Bucket and she decides to pronounce the name Bouquet. So. <laughs> it is what it is. But anyway. You have to just... And you, you don't choose if you have a son or a daughter. It's just like, you get a little message. Oh, there's a baby on the way. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to arrange a hasty marriage? Are you going to try to hush it up? Or are you going to just brazen it out? So it's like, okay, it's silly. But um, I think what I'm going to do as far as Tropico 5 goes, heck, oh, this is at the beach site. But as far as Tropico 5 goes, I think what I'll do is we'll, we'll go through the uh, tutorial because that'll let you kind of know what goes on in the game. Oh, we lost another one. Rest in peace, muchacho. 63. Well, 
He was kind of old. And he was in a... a working hard kind of job. Okay, we should have gotten our college professor by now, and we did. Who have we got here? Linda Sanchez. And Constanza Franco. Okay. Well, that's good. What are we doing? Still 50. I haven't built anything new, so there hasn't been anything added there. Income disparity is dropping a little bit as the wage continues to climb. So that's good. Well, we've got gals going to the college. So we will have more of that. We still don't have... They don't care about being doctors, but they'll be happy to work at the power plant. Well, seriously, what's with this heavy breather? It's like an obscene phone call in my own computer. Tell you what, it's kind of hard to see what's happening around here. But, um, I tell you what, I need more workers. <laughs> I really do. So, we're going to build another construction office. I'm not exactly sure where I put it because the trees are all in the way. And it's almost impossible to get a view, good view of anything in this game. So there's that, too. Oh, look! We have people moving into our condo now. <laughs> yeah, I built the condo kind of over here by the power plant. Oh, we have two people working now. All right, so that means we've had a college graduate. And like I say, we've had a college graduate. All right, okay, this is finished now. All right. So we should have more people coming in. Okay, that's just a... Like I said, you can't see anything. Really, as far as Tropico games go, the only real advantage one this one has is that it should probably run on almost anything anymore. Okay, we've got one of the maids has moved in. Does that mean she left the house? We have houses here too, right? Yeah. We have a house there. A fisherman is living in. That is a house, right? No. Yes. It's a country house. And that's a country house with a teamster and a farmer. There's another one around here somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, there it is. With a cook. Or, yeah, a cook. And another teamster husband. Oh, come on, dudes. Well, anyway. We're going to go ahead and call it a day. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, share. <laughs> leave me a comment. And tell me how excited you...
crying out loud. Tell me how excited you are about seeing Tropico 5. Heaven only knows what Tropico 6 would be like. But we're not going to worry about that now. We're going to say adios. Until next time.